Minneapolis Grain Exchange is this region's monument to the free market. We're here because conservatives want to operate our public schools with a market mindset. There is just one problem. Students aren't milk, canola, or barley. Using the principles of economics and assuming that universal post-secondary readiness is our goal, here are a few reasons why market-based education is a false argument. One of the main things the market requires is a large number of buyers and sellers. But families aren't really buying education and schools aren't really selling it. Having a bunch of competing schools offering their services for free isn't really a market and shouldn't be expected to behave like one. Markets require homogenous products, but even the parents of twins will tell you that no two students are the same. Another thing about markets is that they require free entry and exit of firms, which means that businesses need to be able to get into and out of the market pretty easily. This doesn't work for schools because we have a legally mandatory system of education. Since there's a minimum number of students we must serve, there's a minimum number of schools we must have. One more thing about markets is that firms are trying to maximize their profits, but that doesn't work for schools because what about the students that aren't profitable? We want our schools to create equity. Conservatives think putting schools into a market will do that, but markets produce efficiency, not equity for all. It's time to try something else. <laughs>